Hi Pisces, this is Hassani and welcome to your general reading for the week of February 20th to February 26th, 2017. Understand that these are very broad messages and they may or may not resonate with your personal life situation as the energies around you are always up to change. All right, with that said, let's begin Pisces with your reading, okay? For your central issue for the week, you got the Queen of Wands here. Okay, the Queen of Wands is the sign of Aries. Could be a sister, could be an aunt, cousin, etc. All right, she I feel like um, is very upset. All right, she could be upset with a child. She could be upset about a situation um, that does not seem to be uh, coming to a close. She could be mad about another person. Um, she could be mad about not uh, getting funds or money not coming into her fast enough. All right, this could be. Uh, your spouse or a sister it could go both ways in terms of the energies okay for your first clarifier you got the tower the tower represents um for me the male um phallus if some of you are male that i'm reading for this is uh very i feel like in terms of the tower with you i feel like this comes into say uh to your manliness okay i feel like with your manliness, I feel like maybe some of you are being accused of something that's very, uh, someone would consider very unmanly of you, okay? Um, but the tower um, comes in to say that uh, you don't need to be stagnant in your mind and the way you move anymore, okay? Something is definitely coming in that's changing your world, um, it's really changing your world. All right, and it might actually be you coming out of depression for some reason. Okay, um, your second clarifier, I've got the five of swords here. The five of swords has to deal with um, backstabbing energies and manipulation. All right, you could have been, I feel like you could have been manipulated into a situation where someone probably felt that uh, either you were uh, a little easy to get past or they or you found them a little easy to get past. All right. Um, in terms of uh, how they made their money, all right, and I feel like they kind of uh, they 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 owe you something or you owe them something, all right. Um, but it didn't turn out very good, all right. And I feel like with this person, if this is someone or you're an onlooker to this happening to someone else, you're an onlooker to someone else not getting a page of pentacles uh a taurus a virgo a capricorn not getting what they were fully owed all right in terms of funds all right or you could be taking funds owed to you could be taking away funds owed to this person in some way okay um and that's why it could be you that is also you you could be showing up in this way this energy could be showing up this way from you towards this person okay for your overview you've got the seven of swords the seven of swords is all about moving making plans to move some of you are moving possibly to a different state all right uh, a different part of a state um different country etc all right but i feel like with this if you notice in the card this person has got um, five swords in their hand and they've got two swords behind them so how I feel with this very be very careful of who you tell um, you're moving because I feel like there's someone um, this could be a family member a family a family friend that you're not wanting them to know where you're moving to okay oh in your foundation you've got the seven of cups here the seven of cups is all about wishes coming true or just uh imagining all the things you could have and then with this it's like you're almost there basically in terms of uh your happiness and your state uh, stability in your life also with uh with your emotional health as well okay um I saved your underlying message as the Queen of Swords, all right, um, the sign of Libra, all right, you could be dealing with this person, this person could be um, uh, a family friend, okay, or a brother, I mean, well, a sister or a brother that has, is very feminine in some way, um, all right, or you, all right, these, you can be showing up, um, you're also very feminine and um, 
you in your thoughts a lot about making a next move okay um but with this queen of swords i feel like uh this person is um possibly apologizing to you for something that they did to somebody else in the past okay um you're an onlooker to this all right um and also with your with your tower and the king of wands all right this person this is somebody that is coming into this is somebody that you either you don't know them very well okay you know of them but you don't know them very well okay you actually know them through a page of pentacles individual okay you know of them but you don't know them i feel like this person you're an onlooker to this person um coming into your environment and um spilling out some truth all right but it's not negative all right it's very positive um i feel like uh, this person could be expressing um how they feel about you or about someone else around you okay hence this is why you have the death card here this is something this is complete shocker these two for me go hand in hand because this is sudden change and this is like total life change they're both major arcana cards this is literally um and this this could actually be something that's happening um in the nighttime because i'm looking in the picture and i'm seeing i'm looking in the darkness so i'm feeling that this is probably something that's going to happen in the night time all right i don't know if this is a surprise um this could be a surprise or this could be this is a, a extreme shock to you for some reason okay and it's changing your life totally because you're like what the hell all right um with your overview with your um seven of swords and your ace of pentacles um you are some of you are entering into new positions or you're you're, you're adding on i feel like you're adding on to a position that you already have to boost income but for some reason um this for some reason this new job that you're being offered is i feel like you're worried about how good you're going to perform at it all right maybe you feel like you don't have all the skills necessary to perform um uh to the best of your ability with this okay you don't have the you maybe you feel like you don't have the right amount of uh experience needed for this position but i feel like um you'll come out of it all right because everything to me how i see everything is a um everything is like a learning process all right you're having to try to figure out you know what can i do with this position now what else can i learn am i gonna have to go back to school all right to pick up the skills needed to perfect this uh this um this new line of work that i'm getting into okay um we are nine of cups and your four of cups um you're some of you are depressed very depressed over your finances right now um which is causing you to feel very detached maybe you're not wanting to go out as much as you used to um and it's you really it's like you're hiding okay like you're hiding out all right you're hiding away hiding away out of the society keeping yourself out of society for a minute to really um think about what's going on um in terms of your finances okay um and i also feel like you this is a detachment card for me also and i feel like if this is a relationship that you're dealing with it's um it's causing you to like you feel trapped all right you feel trapped about this relationship all right it's not um it's not the relationship is kind of it's kind of hindering in a way it's it's kind of hindering your financial growth in some way for some reason okay it's like uh it's like you can't start this new beginning because of uh something about this relationship is is, is a little toxic something about the relationship is a little toxic so it's causing you to not feel like you could move forward productively okay um all right, I'm going to go back to your, I'm going to go to your world. All right. Um, 
what I'm this is a sign of oh, this is a sign of Capricorn. The world, um, somebody, uh, somebody you know in your it could be in your family. Somebody's getting cancer treatment. All right, um, you didn't know they had cancer. They didn't know they had cancer. All right, um, and I'm feeling like they've had it for a while and they didn't know. All right, and they're getting treatment for it. Um, but I feel like uh, um, this person, um, they, they're going to be okay. All right, this person will be okay because somebody within this person going through uh, such uh, dramatic life changes, okay? person going through a lot of dramatic life changes in your life right now and um you don't really know how to deal with it but i feel like somebody i feel like they actually found or you found someone um that is willing to work with them and help them get through uh their tough time okay all right um let me see your your um Queen, I'm gonna go to your six of pentacles here. All right. Um, some of you feel like you're tired of shelling out money. Okay, shelling it out. All right. Um, I feel like you feel like you're giving money to people you feel like you don't that don't need it. All right. Even if you're trying to be charitable, charitable, being charitable is very different from um, shelling out money to people you feel like they that they don't need it. But it's like it's forced. Okay. Um, this is a forced action for me, all right? And you kind of feel like there's a side of you that feels, um, maybe you feel like someone around you is being selfish in terms of uh, money, in terms of will, in terms of inheritance, all right? Or some kind of money, all right? Maybe you feel like that other person is being selfish, all right? They're not willing to, they're really holding on to um, not giving up their funds uh to someone that really needs it all right because um there's a bit of greed all right and they kind of let it take over their mind in some way all right you could be an onlooker to this or you could be doing this to yourself as well it's like um it's like someone around you or you, you know it's like letting greed kind of like take over your mental mind okay being greedy all right and not willing and just not willing to share all right because you're being greed of course you or somebody else around you i would say somebody else around you heavily is uh this queen of wands is being greedy all right um it's like it's like almost saying like not letting the world come to a close in a sense it's like um it's like you wanting to tell this person just give up on it all right or don't worry so much about a particular person all right let them handle let them um uh, learn from them mistake from their mistakes basically okay because i feel like uh i feel like if this if this is a child situation this child needs money all right and you're not wanting to dish out any money to this person because you feel like this person might be a little lazy you feel like this person um has taken advantage in the past so you're not you're not gonna open up and give um what you work so hard for you feel like this person should work uh just as hard for um um their funds all right instead of ha instead of having funds just uh openly handed to them all right um let me see here um let me see with your detachment um i feel like um, this is also this is also mental for some of you um very mental in some way even if it's cups um it's very mental maybe you're feeling detached all right i feel like um someone around you could have caught could have been caught something with somebody getting caught you found out somebody got caught doing something so now you're like you're worried very worried about them all right they they got caught okay all right doing uh something that was they weren't supposed to be doing okay 
um, in terms of uh, some kind of attached to some kind of addiction. All right. Um, let me see what else here. I'm going to pull another card for you. You've um, The Eight of Cups is a situation that's not very healthy. And when I say healthy, also um, um, drinking, uh, too much drinking is going on. Or you know someone that is that drinks too much. And they kind of, you're finding out that because of somebody's drinking habits, they kind of did something out of, out of nowhere that is... Um, I'm hearing like chauvin chauvinistic chauvinistic okay um like they're a chauvinist all right or they think somebody is saying somebody else is like a, a like a chauvinist or they're being blamed they're being accused of being a chauvinist okay um all right let me see what else i can pull for you um five of swords i'm gonna come back here again the five of swords and your eight of cups um there's some confusion here all right with some of you there's some kind of confusion somebody's trying to figure out um this is like an unpleasant situation all right um hmm somebody's very determined to figure out what happened to somebody else in terms of maybe they I don't know if they pass or some but somebody is very determined to figure out what happened um, to someone else in their life all right um, but this is in the past like this and this energy this message is in the past like they they some they could have been gone already or and, and you're trying to use you're trying to get help to figure out what happened all right if you want answers basically okay um and it's like uh which is why probably why the tower is coming in as well all right um is this could be getting news about somebody's somebody you know um um crossing over or something all right but it's like um this very yeah it's like shocking energy or this is also i feel um somebody's finally this doesn't always have to be negative for me though like some people don't like when a tower comes in upright people like to see it like readers other readers like to see it um in reverse but i feel like it being upright i feel like somebody's getting hired all right i just heard they got somebody got hired for a new job i guess um i feel like and they're happy about it all right they're like really happy about it um yeah they're happy as hell okay they're really happy that's that's another energy i feel um for some of you okay um yeah i feel a lot of confusion um with someone in your life all right and it's keeping you up all night uh this somebody's um somebody's uh daughter somebody's thinking about their daughter a daughter here all right they're confused about a daughter a daughter figure someone who was like a daughter maybe all right they're confused about them okay um very confused about them for some reason they don't know uh maybe they're the maybe this child is is doing something outside of of their norm okay or what you be considered a norm but i feel like this child might be uh an air sign all right um they're confused about them okay all right uh hmm it's interesting energies that i'm getting here for you all right um this week overall i feel like in terms of messages for this week i feel uh, this week coming um, it, very interesting energies all right a lot has been going on in the world as a whole so uh, you know um, just always stay positive like I said um, situations are always up to change 
at any given time. Nothing I say is set in stone, okay? All right, then. Um, thank you. This concludes the end of your reading, Pisces. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please feel free to like, comment, and share if you would like a personal reading with me. Um, please contact me via page, uh, phone, text, call, email, or Facebook instant message. All right there, Pisces. Thank you for joining me. Ashe. Ashe.